The phrase, doing the work, has become as widespread as the term woke, especially in light of the fact that no one is challenging the ideas that they have with discourse anymore. And everyone's correct. Today, I want to challenge one such new claim, and I'll start by asking this question, more especially to help gain a left-hand path perspective. Do we return to source? We all know many spiritualists and occultists who have rejected and criticized Christianity along with other mainstream religions, claiming that the tenets of Christianity, its God and its Christ, are all fake. Instead, opting to take a different approach on the nature of reality and the continuity of the self. They now believe that what is true is that in becoming enlightened, ascended, or awakened, they will be able to or can return to source. For the grand majority of people, this is fine. Even for the spiritualists on the right-hand path and some of the leftish occultists. For them, everyone is correct anyway, so it doesn't matter how or what they think to begin with. For those on the left-hand path, however, and even those who would actually choose to think about their own thinking, and not just settle for what feels nice, this conclusion is not sufficient. In fact, for the occultist on the left-hand path, this idea of returning to source has some issues that need to be addressed. The issue with this change in perspective is that the only thing that has changed is the name of things and not the substantiating framework behind it. Said differently, they only changed what they think, and not how they think. Quite similar to the flat earth nonsense, this narrative of return to source is creationism repackaged. The role that was played by God in Christianity or other religions is now being filled with the elusive idea of source. The suggestion that what you are returns to source is built upon the presumption that what you are can or ever leaves source, or is not source itself. Like much of the presumption of humanity, it frames the self with not simply the ontology of the illusion, but more to the point, it creates by implication a dissociation where none is necessary. It's like people who say they have to reconnect with nature when the suggestion that one could ever be disconnected is folly. Also, like my analogy with the concept of being inside, which is illusionary. What we consider inside is still outside, but with a fancy garnishment. The words we use invoke the framework that bounds the agreements that we accept. They shape our premises of thinking the idea of returning to source, more especially for a left-hand path occultist, is a faulty premises. It builds upon the same shaky foundation that you claim to have left behind with religious frameworks. The devil is in the details, and it's the details that will set you free. Why? Because the details are where it is that you have bound yourself. As a thing is bound, so it is unbound. 